Hi everyone, welcome into Postman tutorial. Today in this tutorial, we will learn about barrier token and how to use in Postman to authorize API request. A barrier token is a type of access token used to authorize your API request. Let's begin create a new request. Click on new and then click on HTTP and then enter URL here. Open Chrome browser. As you can view here, when hit this API, we are getting error, missing access token message and access token is required to access this API. So, com copy this complete URL, open postman, enter URL here. Now, click on send and we are getting missing access token 401 unauthorized. The request is unauthenticated. When you are working with secure API, you often need to prove who you are. The server does not ask you to log in again and again. Instead, it gives you a token after you authenticate once. This token is then included in the Handle manager of your API are you need to add token here in authorization tab. So click on barrier token, you need to pass token here. Now click on send, we are getting missing access token. Select here barrier token and provide here demo. This is token and then click on send. As you can view here, we are getting user ID and create it. This all information we are getting in a response. Benefits of uh, using barrier token secure access barrier token allow safe access to protected API without exposing credentials in each request and token reusability. The same token can be reused for multiple requests until it expires and easy to use in Postman. You can directly add the token in the authorization section. Now, click on send as you can view here in a console section click on this api request header authorization barrier demo postman token and this is the response header scroll down and this is the response body in the response body we are getting user id this all information we are getting in a response now remove this token from authorization select here no auth and click on send we are getting missing access token because we need to provide barrier token here in token section we can view this token by clicking on this i icon demo is our token now click on send Request sent successfully and we are getting 200 OK response code. We can validate this response. Just click on Postbot and click on Test for response. And here click on Send. It will automatically create a script for you. As you can view here. We are getting PM dot response to have response to have 200 response code, and we are expecting that response will be received under 200 milliseconds. Click on send. In the test result, response status code is 200. Test case failed because this response is received in 354 millisecond to be below 200. That's our for today tutorial on barrier token 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Escape World for more Postman tutorials. See you in the next video.